I just had to hop off the live for a second, but I am back now. Let's see, we're getting this down to a size nine. It's a nine and a half. actually coming along really nicely. It's very close to a size nine. What I'm doing here is just making it slightly smaller on each side to get our target size. Yeah, you can uh, order through my website, coinringmaker.com. There's a website link for it on my profile. There's also a little gold like link chain by the chat you can tap on to see my products. got that one to size. Now we need to stretch this one out to a size 12. <clears throat> so we're gonna go back over to the ring stretcher. It's over here. to stretch a little over. So just about one size over. Perfect. And the reason I stretch one size over is you can see this top is a little wider out than the bottom. And what we're going to do is straighten that up. We're going to shrink this top and make this nice and even. Call it straight walls. This is called a ring stretcher reducer. Stretchers on the top, reducers on the bottom. That looks a lot more even now. Size 12, though. Still a little too big.
we go. Right at a size 12. How does the stretching part of the machine work? So, this has, let me see. This has, these are like separate parts. Like, there's a couple different of these around here. And when I pull up on this, see this thing that peeks out of the top? It's kind of cone shaped. So it gets wider at the bottom. This handle pushes it up which pushes these things out and stretches the ring. Every time I, I put it back down, I push the ring down a little bit because it's been stretched and pull it again. It's pretty, pretty clever little thing. I like it a lot. These are 1979. And 1987. These will get a nice polish up before I send them out. But uh, if anybody wants to get a coin ring made by, made by me, uh, visit the website, coinringmaker.com. The link is in my profile. If you want to find it later, give me a follow. Uh, I'm going to hop off of here. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you later.